Okay, this is the Fat Boss One Throttle Quadrant available at FatBoyThrottles.com. Um, this is a custom design uh, by Mark Frederick, who does the F1 rocket kit. Um, and as far as I'm concerned, I, this, this is the best uh, throttle quadrant I've seen on the market, mainly because of the two inch diameter drum that is the axle for all the lever action. Um, as you can see, at the base of, the, of each lever, um, the, it actually wraps around the drum, 5 eighths wide, cold roll steel wraps around the drum against these brass inserts. And you've got a, as a result, you've got a really high contact volume around the uh, full four apt travel. So you, with any kind of pressure against the lever, you, you stay consistent with that amount of pressure. There's no sticking as the lever travels from fore aft. Uh, that's, I think, one of the main advantages to this style of throttle quadrant versus a, a, a much lower diameter, like a quarter inch through bolt, uh, where you've got a quarter inch hole as the travel uh, diameter of these uh, of the uh, traditional throttle throttle grip or uh, throttle quadrants uh, versus a two inch, where you've got a much smoother and consistent travel, uh, no no sticking, super smooth, super easy to move. And you'll set it once and forget. Dial in your tension with this uh, lock nut here in the front, and then and then you're done. You know. And then now, if if you want, uh, you can throw swap out the nut for a, a knob if you if you want to control it dynamically in flight. Um, but uh, these have been tested in flight and to to not travel or move with any kind of vibration. Once you set that that nut right there to the desired tension, you're done. Or just throw a knob on it instead and and, and dynamically change it if you want. Okay, so that's uh, hopefully a good idea of the architecture. Um, uh, for the RV world, this literally does drop into the console. The holes do not line up, um, but uh, what a lot of guys are doing is just dropping it straight through the console and just building an extra uh, side piece that you'll rivet on and, and uh, match up the hole, the mounting holes here on the, on the four corners. There's two up here, one here, one here, and then there's two more down at the bottom, but I've got it pinched in my, uh, my vice grip here underneath the uh, blanket. But a super easy install uh, for for any airframe, and uh, just a uh, just a high quality uh, throttle quadrant. And of course, it does come with a Fat Boy throttle grip, and uh, um, this is a full hand uh, full hand uh, size grip with uh, palm swells. Uh, outer outer layer is a textured layer of rubber. Uh, through uh, the, the the entire grip is a uh, three layered polymer heavy duty rubber. And I've took this to test in my shop, and uh, and really, really put a lot of pressure against it. Beat up pretty good. Uh, heated it up actually as well, and it and it 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 holds in just fine. It's super heavy duty, very natural grip. I've got it pre-configured here at a 45. A little bit proud of a 45 degree angle. Uh, ergonomically uh, perfect, I think, for uh, for your left hand for a side mount uh, throttle quadrant. And you can configure this with different switches. Uh, this is a uh, military spec. Uh, uh, full tactile uh, toggle switch here, momentary on position uh, for one circuit, maintained on for another circuit. You can mount this here at the index or thumb position. You can use the four-way uh, trim uh, switch as well and I swap that out for the toggle and uh, or just throw a push button which you can see at the index finger position here on the flight grip. All that's configurable on the website. So uh, thanks for your time, and again, this is all at fatboythrottles.com.